Well, I guess if you get tired of whacking the moles, you can always just decapitate them. Cool. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider X8 DX Gashikon Breaker. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have the Gashikon Breaker in its sword mode, in its hammer mode. On this side of the box, we have X8 wielding the Gashikon Breaker in the sword mode. On this side of the box, we have X8 in his level 1 form, just looking so adorable, with the Gashikon Breaker in its hammer mode. That just is just so precious. Yeah, really? Anyway, on the top of the box here, you just have X8 in his level 1 all the way up to level 2. On the bottom, you just have the Gashikon Breaker with X8 in level 1, level 2. On the flap up here, it just tells you DX Gashikon Breaker, what's inside, compatible with Gashats, duh. And on the back, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other, all that stuff. And, of course, you get Sad pac and that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have the Gashakon Breaker, the main weapon of X8, and it is a, uh, a hammer slash sword. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, this is definitely a neat little toy. It's fun. I do quite like it. So here it is in its hammer mode. As you can see, it's it's small. But again, it's meant for a child. I mean, granted, for a for a hammer like a mallet, is it actually is a a decent size, but still, you know, it's not as big as it is on the show. But ah, whatever. It's a kid's toy. It's meant for a little kid, not for my thirty-seven-year-old butt. But anyway, <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. So let's get in close here, so we can see the details. You got the nice big A and B buttons done in pink, and that nice neon green. You also have some black paint in there. You have some black paint going down the handle as well. And this section actually has a nice little texture to it, which is pretty cool. Uh, the hammerhead itself is done in that nice neon green. You do have some transclearance pink plastic right up here. With some nice molding to it. You have a release button right here. We'll get to that in a little bit. And again, you have some more black detailings here, up here. And you have some more transclearance pink plastic right here at the bottom. On the other side, you have the slot for your gashats to do your critical finish. And you have some more details here picked out in black paint. Uh, your battery compartment is right here. It takes two triple A's. Here is your trigger. Up here is your speaker. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, so I guess we'll just get down to some noises. So, turn it on and you get... Gashakon Breaker! In case you didn't know what it was, it tells you what it is. Isn't that considerate? <laughs> So yeah, so in hammer mode, you push the button, and you get a hammering noise, strike noise there. You can do extreme whack-a-mole. That's what I would do anyway. So you can do that, and you only get one noise. So that's pretty much it. If you push the B button, you get that noise and then pull the trigger again. It's now followed by a little explosion, which is really cool. And you can push the button up to ten times. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull the trigger. Then explosion things happen. Gosh, it's awesome. Anyway, <laughs> so you have that. And you can also uh, stagger the button presses, so I can go. And pull the trigger. And it actually does, the, the noises correspond to the tempo at which you push the button, which is really cool. I really do like that. So there you go. So now without further ado, we'll go into sword mode. So to go into sword mode, you want to push the A button and that releases that section here. And then you just flip this section up. 
and the sword extends, and now there it is in its sword mode. And as usual, you can guess what my complaint is going to be. It's too small, the blade's too short, it's all dinky, 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 bleh. But oh well, again, it's a kid's toy, so what are you going to do? But yeah, now you can see all this transparent pink plastic right there. And some molded detail in the blade itself. There you go. Um, the transparent plastic is... it's has a little bit of flex to it, but it is pretty solid for the most part. So yeah, so in sword mode, you know, pull the trigger, and you get a slashing noise, and you only get one noise, and of course you can rapid fire. And again, you can push the B button, and pull the trigger, and now you get the slashing noise followed by the explosions, and again, you can push it multiple times. And all that goes on. So there you have that. Now, uh, just for a quick comparison, I don't know if I can get both of these in frame here, but we'll bring in the uh, the gun gun saber here from Ghost, and you can see how this scales here. So it's it's pretty much the same length as the gun gun saber. So there you have that. And if you want to go back into hammer mode, you want to push this button right here. That's the release button. And you get that noise, and then you push the tip of the blade in. That will lock into place, and then you shush. And then you push this down the rest of the way, and it'll just lock into place, and now you're back in hammer mode. So there you go. And if you want to be cool about it, you can push the A button and just flick your wrist. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> so they have that. So there's nothing left to do but our final attack. So now we will bring in some gashats, and since this is uh, Xade's main weapon, we will bring in. Mighty Action X. Mighty Action X. So what you're going to do is just going to take the gashats, put it into the slots, and it will start the sequence. For our critical finish, let me raise up a little bit here, try to get a better angle, if I can. So, just put the gashat into the slot. And you can see there are openings in this section here, so you can see the gashat glowing. And when you're ready to go, just pull the trigger. And there you have the mighty critical finish! And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can do it again if you want to. Just pull the trigger again. There you go. Now, the gas shot is locked in here at this moment. To release the gas shot, you want to push this black button right here. And now you can pull the gas shot out. And there you go. Um, you can do the critical finish in hammer mode. I don't know why he says it twice now. He's never done that before, but anyway. You can do the critical finish in hammer mode if you want. And pull trigger. And sometimes you get that extra noise. That is totally randomized, but sometimes you'll get that extra noise, which is pretty cool. Now, the critical finish is the same regardless of whether you're in hammer mode or in sword mode. The only difference is just the noise that you hear before the critical finish happens, which is either the hammer noise or the sword slashing noise. It's the only difference there. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. And we got to hear the extra noise. Yay! So now we will uh, take out Mighty Action X. Bless you. And now we will bring in... Satanic 
Shaganiki Sports. And we will do our critical finish. get the extra noise on the first try. Cool. <laughs> so there you go. There you have the critical finish for Shakariki Sports. And uh, yeah. Bless you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time it says Gashu, I want to say bless you. It just sounds like it's sneezing. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the Gashikon Breaker. Jack King indeed, but um, yeah, definitely a, a fun toy. Um, obviously you need this toy or any of the Gashikon weapons to get the critical finish. I mean, in all honesty, you don't need to buy this to get the critical finish. You can just manipulate the buttons on the Gash app, but if you want to do things proper, then of course you want to get one of the roleplay weapons to uh, activate the critical finish, but still. Um, a neat toy, I do quite like it. it, it's definitely fun to mess with, I have been quite enjoying it, so... There you go! Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan HLJ, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, AmiAmi, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. Uh, you can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common Rider items, they mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, there'll be a link to their site in the description down below. And you can also check out my common Rider X8 playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below. Down below so check that out as well and i think that's it so don't forget to check out m games check out lori plan follow me on twitter all of that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the common writer x8 dx gashikon breaker and this is mgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be geek be proud oh me in your face